Hey guys, Webchip here with a review of the Ice Emperor's Forsaken Ice Castle. This set has 7 minifigures and is one of Ninjago's most underrated sets. Let's get into it, starting with those minifigures. So the first minifigure we'll take a look at is the Ice Emperor. Now this guy is awesome and is exclusive to this set, which is really cool being that he is the main villain of the entire Ice Chapter. I really like that. So he is really nice, he has a lot of really cool molding with this blue and white, and it really makes the blue just pop. He has a really cool face print, which I really like if I can get it off. We can just sort of see that there, I really like that face print. As well as a really cool armor, again, both the helmet and the face print and the armor and the torso and the legs are all exclusive to this minifigure. He also comes with a scroll for Rin's Manjutsu, which is really cool, however not really accurate to the show, whereas like the scroll just doesn't pop out like that in the ice out in the ice emperor's hands. But yeah, I really like this minifigure. Now on to the next. Next is General Vex. Now this guy only comes in two other sets, being Zane Shuri Copter and the Titan Mech, so he's not an entirely hard minifigure to get, but a welcome one at that. I really like this guy, he looks really cool. Again, just like Zane his skin actually makes his head, like the horns at his head, look like they're glowing blue, which looks really cool. He also has just some great printing with his, the leg print and then the torso print as well as the face print, which is sadly one-sided. He also has just, again, some really intricate dual molding, which I love so much. He also comes with, for a weapon, like this little spear, which I think looks really cool. In the show, he was seen holding a spear at the very end, right about to, I guess, kill off Lloyd. So yeah, this is actually a really cool minifigure. I like him a lot. Then, there is the Blizzard Samurai. This guy uses the same torso and legs as Vex, as Vex. so if you wanted to see what those look like, there you have them. I really like this guy so much. He has a really cool face print, and then a hat, which only came in the Lego, uh, Lego Ninjago movie CMS series, so it's really nice to get. I also love his blue katanas. You can see the back ponytail on the back of his head. But yeah, this guy is awesome. And the only other set he comes in is Lloyd's Titan Mech. So next is the Blizzard Archer. This guy is really cool too. I love his torso, which has got some exposed skin being like icy blue. And then he's also got this really cool shoulder armor from the Lego Movie 2 molded in a trans blue, which looks really cool. He has also got a crossbow as well as Garmadon's old helmet. Now he does have an alternate expression, which if you take off the head, you can see, which has like an ice chunk for his eye. That's gruesome and awesome. Next, we have Akita. Now, Akita is a really big part of the ice chapter, so again, it's really cool to see her here, especially since she is, in this form, I guess, exclusive to this set. I really like that. She comes with her knife, which, I mean, that might not be the piece I would use for her knife, but still, it's a pretty good piece. She's got a really awesome mold for her hair and hat combo, which looks really cool. I love it so much. She's also got a really chipper face print, as well as a really cool cape, which has some nice like printing on it. You're gonna see the front, as well as the other face, where it almost looks like she's sniffing, and I really like that. You can just sort of see the back of her robe. Then we have Lloyd, who is technically exclusive to this set for one piece, that hair hat combo. Now that hair hat combo is meant to represent him holding the scroll of Forbidden Spinjitsu, and this has got to be one of the best ones. Now it doesn't really show it on camera, but that green is used in such an effective way, and it really looks like it's alive and dancing like fire, and I really like that. He does have his sword in the set, which is pretty cool to get, as well as just his regular Season 11 outfit, which again is pretty cool to see. He's also got that alternate expression, which I like a lot. Also, Lloyd gets this little spinner, which I really like. It uses some really cool li uh, lime green with gold, and it matches really well. Now, I don't know if this will spin or not, but let's try. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's too... Oops, almost. My hands are too cold, I don't think I'll actually be able to do it. But yeah, this is really cool, I like it a lot. And last, but definitely not least, we have Cole. Now Cole only comes in one other set with this variation of parts, being the his motorcycle. So it's not exactly tough to get him, but still it's welcome to get him as, at the same time. He does, however, come in the land bounty, but missing his hair, his like headpiece, as well as his little armor. I love his face, and I also love his torso and leg printing, which is really good. So the build basically consists of three main parts, being the main centerpiece of the Ice Emperor's castle, 
another little turret for the Ice Emperor's castle, as well as Boreal, the Ice Emperor's dragon. We'll take a look at the main build of the castle first. So here is the main build of the Ice Emperor's castle. This thing is really cool, and I like it so much. So first, at the very front, you got a couple dragon heads, which looks really cool with like the blue crystals and just the spikes coming off of it. I love them so much. There's also this really cool entry up to the Ice Emperor's throne in the back, which involves a big play, play feature, which is really cool. But first, you have to take the spinner for Lloyd. One second, let me get it out. And what you're meant to do is you're meant to put it here, right in these spikes, and then this little, you push this little lever and watch the magic. and it spins and it makes the castle opened up. And that's really cool. It lifts up these flaps in the back too, which look really cool and I like them a lot. Now the throne of the Ice Emperor's castle looks super cool. It uses some really nice Nexonite like pieces at the front, which we use a lot for cockpits, as well as some really cool just ice detailing everywhere through it. There's also, again, just the pathway has so many cool trans blue pieces and white pieces, which looks really nice. Also on each side of the castle, there's some nice brickwork as well as some black roofs with some stickers on them. And some of them are prints, some of them are stickers, which has some really nice like carrying over of that um, like icy design. Also, there's some icicles hanging from them. There's some spikes growing at the very bottom, and that looks really cool. Now, the outpost area up at the top looks really nice. You've got, again, just some more, like, detailing for some snow and ice. And I love the red of this, too. It looks so good, and it really, like, makes me feel like I'm in this icy wasteland. There's also, again, this really cool flag up here, which I like. There's some really nice, like, trans blue at the bottom tips of it, which makes it, again, see-through, and I like that a lot. On the other side, it's basically the same deal where you've got, you know, your spikes growing at the bottom, your outpost area, as well as just a ton of really nice detail all throughout. I really like that so much. These are also able to move, so you know there's that too. Again, there's some cool riot shields on the side as well as some spikes. Now the inside of the castle is probably, I gotta say it, the worst part of it, the castle. The, um emptiness of it really just draws attention and it sort of stinks on each side though there is a little something such as this little picture of the ice emperor here let me see if i can zoom in you have a little bit of a picture of the ice emperor on one side as well as a pretty cool shield there's also a barrel which in it is a little hockey puck and ski skis here i mean a little hockey stick a puck and a pair of skates which is really cool there's also a little turret up here with the crossbow that you can actually shoot which i like a lot and then on the other side there's actually a picture of vex that is a picture of vex as well as a cool shield right there so yeah that's really cool now these poles are sort of blocking the picture so it is a little uh, awkward but there's some jumpers you can put a minifigure on as well as a spear but yeah that's the build of the ice emperor's castle I really like this build a lot, and I think it fits what it's meant to do, but at the same time, I can't help thinking to myself that it could have been a little bit better. Next, we have this really cool crossbow, which I like a lot. They use some of these really cool pieces that I know they use a lot for trees nowadays, and it's really cool. They also have one of these really nice big cords, and it looks like a, just a ginormous bow, and I like that a lot. You know, you can also just fire them off like that, and it fires off one of those little brown missiles which I think I just actually lost in the snow, which is pretty funny to think, but thankfully they include extras of them all the time. There's some really nice detailing again, just all around with some riot shields, some icicles dripping right here, which I like a lot. There's some really cool blue elements on each side, which look really nice. There's this little blue spike over here, which actually has a play feature to it, as well as another spike. Now in the back, there's this X-Wing cockpit piece. It might be a little hard to see, but what you're meant to do is put a minifigure in there, lock them up. Then what you do is that you hit this little, you hit this little lever and or you bring it up and it will prematurely open the gate. That's really cool. There's also a nice spider, a bone with a dark red clip, I think to represent blood, as well as a sword. That's really cool. And last, but definitely not least, we have Boreal, the Ice Emperor's Dragon. This thing is so cool, and I love it so much. This is easily the most underrated part of this set, which is why I think that this set is underrated, because this is underrated. 
This guy is so cool! I love all of the bits of ice, and the trans blue wings look so good. You can just see from an overhead view just how good this guy looks. He uses so much detailed white, uh, white bricks with like these tooth pieces for some snow, and then just white all over him. He also uses the Ultra Dragon's eye print right up front, which looks really good. They also just have a great mouth design, which I love so much. He's also got a great belly, as well as some nice toenails with those next night triangle pyramid pieces. He's got great legs, which I think are actually really nice, as well as a, a midsection with some nice clear bricks right in the middle. It really does look like he's made of ice. He also has this really nice tail with a lot of ball joints, as well as this Hero Factory piece at the end. Yeah, this guy is definitely so underrated. His wings are also really cool because they got some nice clear elements for like that uh, vinyl that they use and you can put your hand through and they just look so good. They really do look like shards of ice and I really like that a lot. They also use these some elemental blade pieces at the ends of them which look really nice too. But yeah, that's it for the Boreal. I love this guy so much. One other thing I forgot to mention too is that they do use uh, they do have a spot to put the Ice Emperor, even though in the show that he's never seen riding him. And then also, one other thing I like a lot is the use of like these cattle horns at the front for these nice eyebrows. This guy looks so cool. So, what do I think of this set? Well, I think you guys already know. I love this set. This set is so good, from all of the exclusive minifigures to the great builds. But out of all the builds, Boreal has got to be the best. I would say buy this set exclusively for Boreal, it's that good. But the castle is also good too. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day.